Hello everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yee-haw, it's Monday. On Mondays, we do tier lists, and on Wednesdays, we wear pink. Um, is there alcohol in this? <gasps> oh God, honey, no. What kind of mother do you think I am? <laughs> Why do you want a little bit? Because if you're gonna drink, I'd rather you do it in the house. Today's tier list is a very special one because this is a tier list. The Pokemon that have made me cry the most out of this list. And we're gonna go through all of them right now. First, a word from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark. No, not the company that puts sharks on surfboards and tries to get them to attack surfers. That is a failed business of my own that unfortunately had the same name. Surfshark is a VPN that keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all of the information sent between your device and the internet. This is the internet in this example. Long before Surfshark was a sponsor, I used them religiously to access the Pokemon Unite public test server. That's one amazing thing that you can do with Surfshark. Not only can I use their location changing service to say that I am in the Philippines, one of the regions able to access the Pokemon Unite test server, so I can test things like Meowskarata and Metagross and Gyarados coming to Pokemon Unite, you can also use it to do a ton of other amazing things. You you can access services like Hulu and Netflix from a different region so that you can see a different list of content. Or you could use Surfshark to unblock YouTube videos that are not available in your country. Surfshark's VPN also encrypts your online data to help secure your personal information when you use free public Wi-Fi. And Surfshark's clean web feature blocks ads, trackers, malware, and phishing attempts, allowing you to surf the web safely. Right now is the best time to sign up with Surfshark because they are running their Black Friday deals. If you use my promo code, Spraggle, that's right, Spraggles, or my link below. You will get up to six months free with your order. Huge shout out to Surfshark and rest in peace to my other business where I put sharks on surfboards. I really thought it would work. <laughs> I was just a kid with a dream. On to the video. Our tiers, we have our God tier. This is the Pokemon that has made me cry the most throughout Pokemon Unite. We have our S tier, the so many tiers list. Pretty self-explanatory. We have our A tier, a lot of good tiers in this tier list. We have our B tier. <laughs> I still got the B tier. We've got our C tier, the cried a bit, not gonna lie tier. And then we have our Decidueye Memorial tier tier. So the Decidueye Memorial tier, that one's, uh, oh, I'm not gonna lie, that one's kind of confusing because it's the lowest one on our list. And it would seem like I, in some ways I cried the most. And I'm going to have to justify how I'm putting Pokemon inside of that. But come along with me and I would love to hear from you in the comments what Pokemon have made you cry the most. Whether it's tears of joy, tears of sadness, tears of just about everything in between. Let's do this thing. Let's start with a Pokemon that I want to put into my A tier. And that is Garchomp. Garchomp, I've shed quite a few tears over throughout the course of Pokemon Unite. And I think the biggest reason is for so long, Garchomp was bad. And that sucked because so many people liked Garchomp. Chomp. It just really couldn't get it together for a long time inside of Pokemon Unite. A lot of good tears shed over this Pokemon, but now it's doing pretty good, which I'm happy to see. Ooh, here's another one. Gengar. I feel like the community has shed so many tears over this Pokemon, whether it being busted or not good at all or kind of good, like, oh, it's kind of good, and then it's sort of not. Like, Gengar is one of the weirdest Pokemon in the game releasing broken and then for so long be it's weird it's like a reverse garchomp and you know what i always say no one wants you to pull a reverse garchomp on them it released broken and really never hit that high again and has always sort of been this weird on the outs speedster that probably deserves more love. Lots of tears shed over Gengar for lots of different reasons. Cinderace, I would say is a, a, a bit of a cried a bit, not gonna lie to you. The, I think the reason that I cry a little bit about Cinderace, um, but not a ton, is at one point it was really, really good. And now it just feels like auto attackers in general are a little underwhelming. I think it's a bummer for these Pokemon. I'm not really sitting around crying about it too much. <laughs> Crying in the corner, huh? Mind if I join you? No, go ahead. <laughs> Cinderace is still fine, especially when you're not playing full five versus five competitive. But I do think, you know, we, we lost a little bit of our uh, auto attackers, and I think we should shed a little tear over it. Cramorant. 
Honestly, a lot of good tears. I don't think it's S tier crying, but the... <laughs> Truly, the way they have nerfed Cram over the, over the years of this game, this is one of those Pokemon that you'll look at patch notes, and this is always the wild card where it's like, uh, they nerfed Sashian, nerfed Comfey, did this, like all these things you expect, and they're like, and I uh, nerfed Cram, got nerfed Cram twice. <laughs> you'll, it's so confusing, especially because it's not like it gets a lot of play, so you can't really say, oh, everyone's playing Cram, they got a shut this thing down it's just one of the most confusing pokemon in that respect so for me i i loved cram i've shed a lot of good tears over my buddy cramorant alola ninetales um i feel like it's probably b the only thing that maybe moves it higher in my tier list is this was like the first hollow wear i don't that's not literally the first but this was like they were dipping their toes into the skin game, into the Hollowware game in Pokemon Unite, and it was expensive. And I remember it. It was like, it was big. It was a big deal. That I think was probably big. It's it's balance has never been amazing, but it's gone through good moments, bad moments. Uh, I think overall, I think kind of like in the middle ish. A little bit of crying, but nothing crazy uh, for Ninetales. It feels like uh, a middle-of-the-road Pokemon. Wiggly, I feel like, has shed a lot of good tears. Wiggly used to be amazing. Wiggly used to be terrible. Wiggly's kind of confusing right now. Uh, I still... It's not horrible, but man, it could be better. Wiggly, I feel like... And also... Guys. And girls. And honestly, pets. Anyone around you... I, whatever, whoever's hanging out in the room, people who, people who are pretending to be a tree that are inside your room right now, right behind you, ready to strike, listen up. Don't strike right now. Listen up. Um, Wiggly at one point, it's passive ability cute charm was so unbelievably busted and sleep was so unbelievably, like Wiggly was so busted at one point. I actually... I think I'm I'm moving this a, a rung higher. Just thinking back on Wiggly, this thing was a uh, I mean this was really hurting people's feelings. Machamp, cry I mean I cried a bit, I'm not gonna lie, but it, nothing crazy. Uh, Machamp really didn't it, not a huge tearjerker I wouldn't say out of Machamp. Absol I feel like has to go up into the A tier just because of the Absol meta, which was so sad. <laughs> If you made you cry. When someone has a meta named after them, honestly, someone having a meta named after them, I, I think I might have to raise it up to the S tier. This was a sad moment in Pokemon Unite. Um, no, There were some tears of joy for Absol fans, but mostly this was a tragic meta that we had to live through. Uh, Slowbro, I feel like... Um, I, I feel like some tears were shed, but honestly, a lot of them positive. Slowbro is is just kind of solid. He's just a solid dude. I feel like B tier is a pretty fair place to put. Just solid. Solid. Yeah. He could even be C. I feel like Slowbro, it didn't start out amazing, amazing, but it was pretty good. And then since then, it's always been kind of like a rock. Even as like one of the busted defenders, it never felt like Umbreon or Lapras, even though it was and kind of is as busted as them. I don't know. It's a hard spot to put this in. I'm realizing my my tears are slightly confusing here, even to myself. I feel like the B tier, I'm all right, I'm making this right now. The B tier is like some good, some bad. It's right in the middle. You could say it's like balanced for tears, all right? And then C tier for me is like, eh, I didn't really care that. You're not crying too hard about it. B tier is like balance, some ups, some downs. Mime, no question. No question. Highs and lows. Roller coaster of emotion with Mr. Mime. So sad. Uh, Venusaur, I feel like, is actually maybe an A tier cry. Um, Venusaur, not only is its cry that is, <laughs> that's a, a very good example, is very, very close to it. Um, or it's more like, uh, <laughs> It's very good, actually. Very, very good. Um, hey, that person is a tree. Don't attack them yet. Uh, a lot of good tears shed over this. Started out kind of meh when the game opened. Slick Spoon really helped it out. It had its Giga Drain Petal Dance meta. I feel like a lot of the tears for this Pokemon have mainly been tears of joy. So the a lot of good tears section, I think, is, is pretty fair here. 
I think that's pretty fair. Lucario? I mean... Broken. To uh, bug... The crazy bug abuse with E-Speed. To not really that relevant anymore. Like, Lucario is sort of like a high school athlete. That's not playing. They're, they, they're not lacing up anymore. They're not putting on the cleats. Uh, what, what other examples can I say that makes it seem like I played sports? I mean, this is just not... Uh, this is a weird one because Lucario was so dominant throughout the history of this game. And right now, Lucario is so, yeah, I don't know. But a lot of tears shed over this Pokemon. Talon, me personally, I shed a lot of tears. But I think in general, this is like sort of a, it just, it never really, ironically, soared to the heights of some of the other Pokemon in the game. It had its moments. Uh, there were some times where Talon felt pretty strong. It's still not the worst thing in the world, but there isn't really much. I, I feel like Talon hasn't really been through much. Um, it had some highs. It's fine. It's meh. It's C tier. It's cried a, a, a bit, not gonna lie, but nothing crazy. Uh, LD. LD, I feel like, is A. Um, really, really good. Has always been good. Has been buffed. Has been nerfed. Still has always been good. You Seeing one on the enemy team, I'm not freaking out. But I know it's great, um, especially in lane. They're very, very mean. I think some good tiers. You know what? This feels more like a B tier for me. B tier. Greninja. This is a good cry. Um, I'm crying because I wish it was better. I'm crying because I wish it had more going on with it. I'm crying because at times it was busted. Uh, Greninja has given some good cries throughout the years. Crustal. Top tier cries. Top. Crustal is... Please, why isn't this good? Please, why isn't this good? Please, please, please. They took away its crits. Why, 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 why? All of a sudden, it's good. Well, so good. Like, give me a break. <laughs> give me a break on this one. A lot of tears shed over Crustal. Uh, Snorlax, mid. Not a huge crier, either way. It's had some moments, yeah. Uh, Char. Char is a weird one. Char, I cry in a sad way. I just feel bad for Char. Char is going to be my first Decidueye Memorial tier Pokemon. Um, Charizard just, I feel like, deserves more in this game. More than many other Pokemon. I feel like Char is just kind of really neglected. Uh, I like the leveling change they just gave it. They took a... They, Char got a nerf a while back to take away its true damage. One of the most confusing... I don't know. I don't know what you're nerfing this Pokemon for, but uh, this now I'm realizing the Decidueye Memorial tier is ones I'm just sad about. Pikachu, uh, up and down, but uh, lately has been pretty good. I don't feel like it's ever just the worst thing ever where you're crying about it like Crustle. I think Pikachu's been relatively mid. Uh, Zeraora is an S tier cry. Ups and downs, highs and lows. This thing is so good. This thing is so bad. This thing is so confusing. Uh, why isn't this better? Why is this so, like, why, 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 why? All across the board. More than anything, I'm confused. It almost could hang out with Char. I'm just kind of, I am kind of sad about this Pokemon. Because it's so cool, and it can be so good, but just weird. Guardy, mid. Uh, n nothing really to say about it. Blissey is a top tier cry. Blissey's been so busted. Blissey's like to find metas, won championships. It been one of the most frustrating things in the world. So many tears shed over this Pokemon. Blastoise, I feel like you could say the same thing. Um, not exactly the championships, but Blastoise has been amazing at times. Blastoise has been kind of mid every once in a while, but in general, I think Blastoise has been, it might, it might fall into the A. A lot of good tiers. Maybe it hasn't been S tier. Its release was. Its release was. I, I think this has definitely made some people cry. And having a level 8 War Turtle on your team, rest in peace at this point, was always a rough one. Mamo. Mamo, I think, hangs out with Char. I, I, I think Mamo is fine now. And I like Mamo a lot. I just feel like Mamo. I want to throw another Pokemon in here right away, which is Dragapult. These are Pokemon right now that I'm. I'm just sad that there there's not more love given to these because I think they're really cool, and I think everything in my Decidueye Memorial tier tier I'm realizing could be uh, 
could be just a Pokemon that they haven't given enough love to. They just need to give it a little more TLC. That's what I'm thinking this tier means to me. And that rhymed, which uh, it isn't relevant. Sylveon, mid. They could give it more love, but Sylveon's actually good. It's just, it's just always kind of like middle of the road good, except for it's like, ooh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Except for it's emergency nerf. Uh-oh. Dang. Oh, it's tough. Because it did have its moment where it made a lot of people cry, didn't it? Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm gonna have to bump you up, buddy. I mean, you were you made so many people cry that you got the big emergency nerf. I, I have to throw you up here. Greedent? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Greedent is a tear jerker. This thing is making you cry regardless of if you want to or not. The Greedent meta was obnoxious. Greedent is obnoxious. Players who play Greedent can be obnoxious. This thing is like top tier tiering. It, it's, it's, there are a lot of these in contention right now for our God tier tier, but wow, Greedent's definitely one of them. Decidueye, without question, belongs in the Decidueye Memorial tier tier. Uh, this Pokemon, I'm, I'm very happy with where it's at right now. However, for the longest time, this thing made me so sad. I named a whole tier after it. Another one, ah, where do I put Serena? I almost want to put it here, but then I almost don't even mind that it's nerfed because it's like, this thing is so broken. When it was broken, it was so broken. In the hands of a skilled player, it was like the craziest thing in the game. Ugh, I am sad about it now, but it's made me cry before. I think I'm gonna put it into the C tier. I'm shedding, some, I'm shedding a few tears, but honestly, like, I'm not that sad about it. I'm, I'm not that sad. Dragonite, it's kind of middle of the road. Had a meta, for sure. Um, but I, I wasn't crying too much about its meta. It, it's, it was Dragonite meta, for sure. It's just Hyper Beams, whichever Hyper Beam get the objective. Trevenant. Trevenant, I, I th feel like Trevenant deserves so much love. And it finally got it. I'm so happy. It's been a while now, but I'm so happy it's good. For the longest time, this thing was bad. This thing was kindling. I mean, that guy who's dressed up as a tree behind you that's about to attack you. Trevenant was... Uh, it couldn't do anything about that. Trevenant would just be... Trevenant would kind of be that guy in some ways. Uh, but would be very ineffective at it. I, I'm very happy that Trev's better now. But it was a disappointing one for a while. Aegislash, very mid. Had some highs, had some mids, and some lows. And I don't feel like anyone was crying too hard about this Pokemon, even though it's been pretty good. Hoopster. Woo! Hoopster's probably an A tier. The thing about Hoopa is it took some skill. So even though it's busted incredibly good, it at least took a little skill to use. But man, it really changed the game. I don't think a lot of people were that upset by it, though. It was kind of cool, honestly. Hmm. Maybe it's closer to B. Like, Hoopa doesn't feel like some of the other legendaries to me, or mythicals and, you know, things like that, that are, are releasing around these big events. Like, I don't feel like it was as poorly received as some of the others. Maybe it's closer to B tier. Duraludon? Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 dude. The Duraludon meta. Dude. <laughs> this meta, dude? The Duraludon meta... Uh, was so frustrating and it was so like the just two giant rings of fire ripping away at Zapdos it was not a fun meta and uh, I'm I under it was a uh, so many tears for sure so many tears Azu Azu for me is a, is a sad one it's a sad one it's way better now I, I like Azu now but boy this was a sad release for a long time it just didn't do enough you know um, yeah, I always felt a little sad about a zoom roll. Espeon had highs and lows. Uh, I'm not too st uh, too stressed about it. Even when it was like incredibly good during its battle pass, I'm still fine with it. Delphox. Delphox is probably I I had a lot of tears of joy with Delphox. I mean, I'm I'm kind of bringing it up here just for joyous tears. Delphox is a fun Pokemon. It released fun, even after they nerfed it, because they kind of did like a nerf buff. They were like, no, not Fire Spin. 
flame charge, mystical fire. And then that was really fun. Like, uh, it's Unite move is on the lowest cooldown of all time. Delphox is kind of a blast. Uh, Tears of Joy from me, my man. Tears of Joy. Glaceon. Yeah. Glaceon's just gone through so many uh, ups and downs. It's the worst. It's broken. It's the worst. It's broken. Can we not? Can we not? Buzzwool. Uh, a lot of good tears. A lot of good tears. Man, it, it released a little rough. Um, but then it got there, and now it is a it's a joy. Um, Buzzwool is, you know, it just felt it's that it's that kid on the football team. Let's see how much I know about sports. He just never got into play, right? He he never got a shot, and then all of a sudden, one of the positions gets hurt. You make up the position in your mind. One of the positions gets hurt, and they have to bring in Buzzwool. And he's been training all season. You saw him at the start of the season. You knew he he couldn't. He had to ride the bench. He had to ride the pine, if you will. And then finally, they put him in the game. Man, he just... It's electric. People are cheering. Even the other team's cheering. It's exciting. T-Tar. T-Tar, I feel like, for a lot of reasons, is an S-tier tier Pokemon. Um, whether it be kind of feeling like it was broken or kind of feeling like it was useless. It just like the crazy leveling it needed, the insane late game moments it had. I feel like T-Tar is an S-tier Pokemon. And T-Tar S-tier Pokemon. Say that a million times fast. Bet you couldn't. Millions a lot. Mew, S-tier. Gah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so mean. Uh, we now have Mime Mew and Glaceon up in, up here. If we remember the Mime Mew Glaceon meta, yikes. Um, yeah, what, do you, what else do you say about Mew? Uh, Dodrio. I think Dodrio, for me, it's kind of hanging out in this A tier where I'm noticing I'm putting more and more Pokemon in the A tier. Uh, th they feel like they have two vibes for me in the A tier right now. It's either kind of a joyous thing, uh, like I'm really happy and with Dodrio that's the case or kind of like uh, I'm sad about this disappointed more than others uh, but not S tier and uh, Dodrio I feel like man I'm so happy I'm so happy they put it in the game was never a big Dodrio fan I'm so happy they nailed it uh, it's been one of my favorite releases if not my favorite releases of all time I think it's so cool I think it's design feels unique and it made me like a Pokemon I never really cared for before. Scissor, Scyther, uh, make me sad. They're not terrible. They're playable. You can win games with them. I'm not saying they're awful. But man, doesn't it feel like between Scissor Scyther's release, which was decidedly like, ugh, and then even after the Battle Pass buffs, it's just like, I don't feel like they ever really put this Pokemon in a great position, which is a bummer because what a cool release, you know? It's split Evo, um, one speedster, one all-rounder. Like, even with Urshifu, when they split, they're still both, like, all-rounders. There are different flavors of it, but this is, like, a completely different class split. And Scyther, I always loved Scyther. I wasn't the biggest Scissor fan. But I always liked Scyther as a Pokemon. I always thought it was really cool. And I just feel like this this feels like... Uh, it feels like they just didn't really nail this and maybe don't know exactly what to do with it without just buffing it to an absurd level, which nobody would like. Uh, Clefable. A lot of tears shed. Um... I think mainly because it's so mean. I think Clefable is extremely mean. And uh, I think for the longest time it's been really mean. And it took people a long time to realize that. Zoroark breaking hearts out here. This thing is just dummy, dummy good. And I think a lot of people are upset over Zoroark at times. And the other thing that I think is making a lot of people upset is this Pokemon is hard to be good with. So there's that. Sableye. It's a contender. It's a contender. It's up there. There are a few Pokemon that are up there for God tier tier Pokemon. Sableye is so frustrating. Sableyes on your team are so bad. I don't know why. They're good Sableye players. I never get them. Sableyes on the enemy team? Godlike. Everywhere at once. Everywhere and nowhere. Hiding in the shadows yet somehow right in your face. Sending you back to base at the Rayquaza fight while at the same time back capping on your tier 2 putting their team ahead. Like, I can't even... I, I don't know what it is, but the... The Sableye... 
like the Sableye equation, if this was like a, a, a movie about math or something called the Sableye equation, the Sableye equation is Sableye on your team equals bad troll. Sableye on the enemy team equals godlike troll against you. Uh, it, it's just the way it goes. I have no idea why. Lots of tears shed. Urshifu, both versions making people cry. And you know what? Uh, Water Bear is actually a really good one because it was bad at first, like really decidingly mid, and then it became so unbelievably good. I mean, my goodness. Comfey, in contention for God tier for me right away. In contention. It might, like, it's one of them for sure. There are a few, it's one of them. Uh, Zashian. Wow. Wow, it's turned to be into Wario, okay? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say about these Pokemon. They were, Zacian, in some ways, maybe the most devastating release we've ever had. Maybe, maybe. Uh, Gudra, yeah, um, Gudra was kind of mid. The thing about Gudra is it finally got Gudra and I'm happy about that and uh, I'm glad. And it didn't take an insane amount of time. So, yeah, good for you, Gudra. Uh, Lapras. This is a weird one. Lapras is busted. Uh, I'm not saying it's not. I just feel like it wasn't something that everyone was crying as much about. I, I, I Even me, I'm like, I knew it was busted, but I'm kind of like, okay. <laughs> I don't know why. I, like, it, people would get upset by it. It's so good. And it, it's still so good. But for whatever reason, I feel like the tears just weren't flowing the same way they were for some of these other Pokemon. Shandy, um, Shandy I, I kind of want more from, but I actually like it. It's not terrible. It kind of feels like it hangs out in the C or B tier a little bit for me. I'm not too upset by it. Umbreon, I, I, Umbreon I cried more about than uh, Lapras, I did. Umbreon got me with some real, some real cry moments for sure. And I just think, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's the stealing of the shields. I'm not sure what exactly made Umbreon. You know, I think release Umbreon also was just crazy. They nerfed it a few times. It was so good and so unbelievable. And then there's mean look. I don't know. Umbreon is, Umbreon uh, makes you cry. Leafeon, very mid. I'm happy about Leafeon actually. It's fine. Yeah, Inteleon is an uh, is a roller coaster i love inteleon not the pokemon i never liked inteleon as a pokemon this is like another dodrio i think it's kits really cool it's also way overpowered um fun release truly really fun release but a lot of tears shed because it's so dang broken uh mewtwo i it's it's in there i don't know it's in there it's in it, there there's there's a talk there's a talk to be had. There's a talk to be had. Uh, Blaziken. Blaziken, I was... I, I'm... Here's the thing. I'm putting it in the Decidueye Memorial tier. Blaziken's really good right now. I just felt so bad Blaziken was released around Mewtwo Y. It was just such a disappointing release for that Pokemon. I was so hyped for Blaziken, and I thought people would love this thing, and I just think it was the, like, wrong place, wrong time. Mimikyu. Eh. Mid. Mimikyu released in a much better meta. It's busted right now. Maybe it's close to a lot of good tears being shed because of play rough, but it released in a much better meta. We don't have Metagross on here, but we do have Meowscarada. And I don't know. I think this one's actually going to be a pretty decent release. We will have to see how it comes out of the, the oven, how they bake it up in the public test server. But I could imagine people are actually going to like this one. And it's it doesn't feel so broken that you have to play it although a couple things about it feel really really good we're just i, I want to see how they tune this thing on the pts so now it's time to figure out our god tier and this is something i really don't know i really don't know what to put here so here let let me let's 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 break it down shall we mewtwo's without question zashian without question Comfey without question for me. Um, who else? I think Sableye's in the conversation. I think, oh man, Mime is some way in this conversation. These are not just the times that were broken. It's times that they made me, 
they got the most tears out of me. I'll tell you what I'm leaning at right now. And before that person that's pretending to be a tree behind you attacks you, I, I, I want to I wanna try to get this thought out. Mewtwo Y was maybe the most frustrated I've ever been in Pokemon Unite. However, a close second was not Mewtwo X. It was Zacian. Zacian Comfey Meta, specifically. And Zacian, like Mew did this, but not like this. It felt like Zacian was, I don't know. It was like the dawn of a new age. It was, it, it, almost everything changed with Zacian. We lost our innocence a little bit with Zacian in Pokemon Unite. I don't know. Sableye's also a little jerk. I think I have to drop Sableye and Comfey. I, I think for me, the most tears are shed between these two monsters. And I'm going to give the edge to Zacian. And I'm going to give the edge to Zacian for this reason. I actually, now that it's nerfed, still insanely good, by the way. Now that it's been nerfed multiple times, I've played it. Uh, like, I didn't play it at all because I just felt like it was way too good. Like, I, I feel bad playing something that good. I, I'd like to think of myself as someone who is pretty good at the game. So I feel wrong. It feels wrong playing something like that. Uh, and I never played Zacian. And then after a bunch of nerfs, I finally played it. And I thought, ah, you know what the most frustrating thing about this whole Zacian situation is? I actually kind of liked its play style. Like, I kind of liked how things were set up. It was way too busted to ever be something that you really even cared about its play style. But I, like, I kind of liked, like, balancing the Intrepid Sword, boosteds, and using that. Like, I kind of liked it. And that, I think, makes me feel the worst because I didn't get to play it for so long because I felt like it was such a painful thing for the community. So there you go. My tier, tier list. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. I thought this was a pretty fun idea. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I will see you all. <laughs> Why am I crying? <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Nerf Mewtwo. <laughs>